eight, nine days. We just did an intro, but it was in 1080p. <laughs> So I've redone it 4K really now. Changed, Thought I had about 50 minutes of recording time, but no, it turns out I had 10 minutes in 4K. Yeah, we've been we've been moored up with <laughs> Will, narrowboat Will, for mm. the last week. We just left the marina. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I didn't think you actually mean to say that. It's the like basin. a marina at the moment. So it's like a marina, you've got one, yeah. you know, one after the other, about 10 or 11 It's got boats a lot there. busier. When we got there, there's only three boats. Us and Will and someone else. We thought it was going to be out the whole time. Yeah, but, but uh, lots have come and gone, and there's about 10 boats there now yeah. and Paul came to see us from Timaru yeah. he was um, he helped Josh through I don't you probably remember in the vlogs he helped Josh through it's, his uh, solo in lock salt. we stayed with him in Salt on Trenton Mersey yeah he's a really nice guy really yeah. nice guy yeah. came what in for a chat to see him, yeah it was a nice surprise mm. um, yeah he was coming down didn't you regards yeah. to Sue as well that's home they Sue got, who? Sue, his wife. Oh, I think it <laughs> Suey, because I haven't heard no, from Suey. No, we haven't heard from Suey for a long no, time. Yeah. As I say, I was all Suey. Off of Holly Boat. Oh, Holly Boat. Do you remember when we Boat left the... Do you remember oh, when we left the marina? You shriveled it. Do you remember when we left the marina in February? Um, <laughs> it was a bit like that. Yeah. Everyone came out watching us, <laughs> saying goodbye. The wind was taking us a little bit, so yeah. Everyone was watching us, and it just reminded me of February. We're just coming up to Langotham Wharf now, and there's Which got boats either boats side. Up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The horse boats out. To get by for the bridge. Yeah, horse boats yeah, out. Yeah. So we've got to try and get by. Don't know now. if the uh, the aqueduct cruise boat is out. Probably out. Hiya. See the horse, Josh. We're going to film the horse. Yeah. And then we can hit the boat. We can film that. Yeah. There's just no room, is there, to do anything, no. so... There's about five horses in the, in the summer, I think. So? There's quite a few. Nuts. We were... We were what, what would Tabitha and that thing of a horse to come up to them? <laughs> Not sure. Oh, there's the the guys from the... Yeah, got a that's the whole there. family. Just oh, record yeah. them. No, perfect them opportunity. Here. Yeah, perfect opportunity. Lovely, I think we still recording. Yeah. Lovely family. Um, in the in, well, I say the marina again. In the Lungothlin Basin. It's just like a marina it, at the moment. Eh? This lovely lady, just I don't know her name. I think it's oh yeah, Rosie. I think it's probably Rosie. Oh, That's Jim. their card. What's going on there? She does yeah. children's stories, Ooh. and her husband does music with the harp, which I saw yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're just showing your card on here. <laughs> <laughs> Check them out. Yeah, lovely family here. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where's mum? What a bad time to go for a wee. Yeah. See you later, guys. Happy yeah. Oh, we didn't hit anything. Because there was a boat parked right here. Look how look how tight it was. Yeah, I know. But yeah, it's a lot to talk about. Yeah. I've been over this bridge. We, I got a note now because every time I <laughs> do one of these things, I always forget um, what to say. So, so we walked into Langoflin, didn't we? It's yeah. Really, really nice. Oh, we've walked in there twice. Mm -hmm. Lovely place. And it's not too bad at the moment. I think uh, it's really bad, like summertime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah summertime is really bad. It's really, really busy. The only I think. thing bad was though they were doing they're doing works down there, they're improving the pavement, making it bigger. Yeah. Making it more you pedestrian really friendly. You couldn't really see the beauty of it. I think they're making it more pedestrian. Yeah. That's beautiful. So we've got some footage of that. Here you go. I can recommend the vet. 
Um, yeah, we have to take Toby to the vets. Yeah, I think we might have said got too one. bad. No, we didn't. I didn't. Okay. got too bad. So. There we go. Mum's going to the vet in the doctor now for Toby. After the dog biting him, he's got to go to the vet because mm. there's a massive, big scab on his back. So hopefully he's going to be all right. But I wish we could find the people that done this and give them the bill. Well, back. Toby's back. Bag, buy a bag, didn't I? Toby's back. The... What's it? What? Tell us about. Oh, yeah, tell us the story. <laughs> in Balamori. I wouldn't like to. <laughs> is he in Langoli? Oh, have you seen him? Have you done it? Oh, look well, at him. I'm not going to show off the thing it's a bit gross. Ooh. I'll bathe him again. Look how it's relaxed. Gross on, it's gross on the oh, back. Oh, he looks so we much We won't relaxed. show you the wound because it didn't look too bad earlier, but it mm. looks gross now. Can you imagine I've got a big boil on your face and that pressure oh. and all of a sudden it releases. You can imagine how he feels. So I went to the car park, went in and told him I was there, I had to wait. And then they, the, the vet came and got him, mm. uh, took him out. And I couldn't go in with him. Five minutes later, he was back. He said, you've got one smelly cat here, he said. We just drained the abscess. He had a massive abscess on his back yeah. for, from the bite. He said, they're really like teeth, dog's teeth. He said, there's so much bacteria in it. So they've given him antibiotics, painkiller, and drained it. Yeah, and it was only £43 so far, but I've got to take him back on Monday. That's so, one of the cheapest vet boards you've ever had. Yeah, usually in, in Ilfracombe. Just to go and see him, it's 30 quid yeah. for the consultation, so yeah. Well, this was an emergency Reason. appointment as well, it's the only one they had today. Yeah, so... Because the weekend is, that's it, it's out. So I think he's going to be a lot better. He's purring, I think. Yeah, his abscess, that, through that bite, dog bite, he, he calls that he calls yeah. abscess, so we oh, had to have it... terrible pain, wasn't it? Last Friday we had to have it drained, and then antibiotics, painkiller, and then I had to take him back Monday and it's yeah it's clearing up nicely, it's just like a scab now. Scabbing Not very now. nice. But yeah, he's back to his normal self. He had more antibiotics on Monday. He doesn't like going out though, does he? No, he's frightened now yeah. to go out. We uh, took two walks, well actually one walk from where we were in the basin to Horseshoe Falls. Absolutely stunning, oh, definitely recommend it. Oh this is this bit yeah. really tight and I start hitting the sides. There's nothing you can do about that. Beautiful and Josh didn't think he could fly the drone down there. But there was somebody flying a drone, wasn't there? Yeah, someone was flying a drone and he crashed it into the tree. <laughs> but because it's more it's a more expensive drone, it's it shut so down it's fine now. It shut down that propeller and then it managed to fly itself out of the tree, which is really cool. Which my one wouldn't have done. It's mine's a cheaper one. <laughs> um, but yeah, flew my drone down there, was very careful. So here's I walked all she falls. So today we're walking the final 1.7 miles of the Langoffin Canal because we want to do it all and you can't take motorised boats down here as it's not wide enough to turn boats at the other end for some reason there's no winding hull I don't know why they didn't build a winding hull probably because it's a world heritage site in fact this whole area here 11 miles from Horseshoe Falls to Chirk Aqueduct is a world heritage site because of the bold civil engineering solutions needed to construct a canal with no locks through such difficult terrain.
So, this is Horseshoe Falls, and it's at the very end of the Langofen Canal. And this is the source of the flow. In fact, 13.7 million gallons come from the River Dee every day. It's 460 feet long and was created by Thomas Talford. And it was completed in 1808. It's funny because thanks to this magnificent structure here, a lot of the canals that could have been abandoned weren't abandoned because of this feeder. When the entire owners of the Shropshire Union system, the London, Midland and Scottish Railway decided to close much of the network in 1944, they retained the line of the former Chester Canal and the Ellesmere Canal, which is now the Langofen Canal, from Nantwich to Ellesmere Port, the branch of the Chester Canal to Middlewich, and the former Birmingham and Liverpool Junction Canal, which is now the Shropshire Union Canal. Because Horseshoe Falls was a major source of water to that system, the canal from Langothen to Nantwich, including the great aqueduct at Pontosite and Chirk, was retained purely as a water channel. This action enabled the canal to survive until it was taken over by British waterways, which meant they couldn't build over it or infill it. If it wasn't used as a feeder, then it would probably have ended up just like the Montgomery, built over infield and lowered bridges. Yeah, I saw there wasn't saw any trout and uh, I think he had some sort of disease. Yeah, that was, was the, the second time we went down, just took the car down and Josh took his drone then. And got some foot? Yeah, and the drone. That's what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to carry on the photography channel, I'm just going to pick... Every time I walk back for the car or something, I take my camera with me, I'll go for a walk. I'm going to put nice photographs on. I'll do my photos on here now and one day I'm going to probably sell and make a calendar out of it. I'm yeah. just need to build up my portfolio. Trouble is, he's got his work cut out just doing the channel. We haven't really got time to do the other no. photography channel, have you? I just hope there's not a boat coming. I can't see. The weather's been absolutely beautiful yeah, recently. It's been lovely. For well, November. Tells me it's going to be 15, 16 for the next week. Yeah. yeah. It all happened to the minus 12 cold. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, this morning funny. I went out to the car and dew and rain had, had froze the car. Like in big modules. Yeah. Yeah, that Andy, took a bit of work. We've got our plaques. Morning, so. We've got our plaques. Oh, yeah. So we've got a Langofen basin. Can't show you because Josh has already put them on. And Langofen, because he's finally done it all. Yeah. Um, we've got the code for the gate, finally. Um, so we can actually park our car down into the basin. Yeah, thanks nice, to Because we met a subscriber in Langofen. Yeah, we met a subscriber. You met him again, didn't you? But, oh, yeah, we met him in Langofen quite a few days ago. And then I met him again walking up to the car and he said well, where are you going? I said we're going to move the car so we haven't been able to park anywhere so I've got to move it somewhere else. Oh he said um yeah I'm chairman of the rugby club he said I know the code he said so he gave us the code. Bless him. Thank, yeah. thank you so much Graham and um yeah so last few days last three or four days we've managed to park our car right mm. near Olive which is brilliant because I only done a load of shopping this morning. So <laughs> Yeah, we're stopped up now, got black hat food. That's it, I think we're caught up. Yeah. Um, Somehow I also forgot to mention that something really spontaneous and cool and lucky for once happened to us. We were walking to Horseshoe Falls and we thought we'd stop off and have a look at the railway station. And we were talking to the guy there and he said, there's a train coming along in about five minutes. And it was the last steam train of the year, which runs from Langothlin to Corwin. There's four stations and there's soon to be five because this is a heritage line, they're trying to restore it. Unfortunately we didn't do the whole trip though, we just did we just did from this station down to Langofen, which which is only about two and a half miles and then two and a half miles back. This is part of the Great Western Railway. And so you probably could have got a train from here all the way down to Ilfkoon station, which is where we used to live. And there used to be a railway there that closed in 1970, and I've always wanted to see a steam train come across that valley.
but yeah, pretty much we're heading. We're heading back down the Langoff and I'm going to record it all. Um, because if I don't, it's about 40, 50 miles long and you won't <laughs> see us for months. And I won't have anything to upload, so I've got to do it anyway. And so, it's, it's going this way, you can see yeah, everything different, don't you? Well, it's not a bad place to be stuck. The but yeah, we're coming up to the narrow part now, so I've got to end it because I'm about to run out of card space. But, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to send Mum ahead this time, aren't we? Yeah, I'll get off.
trouble whatsoever. No, the good. first the first part I asked somebody is that right? No, there's one going this way, but there's not one coming yeah. the other way. So, well, thanks, guys. See, we would get off and walk, but the trouble is, there's no like bollards to tie onto, which is annoying. But the second time, I got off and had a look around the corner. Yes. After a lot of asking people, it's a uh, better way of doing it, I think. Um, but yeah, last one we looked around the corner. Just because it was such a tight bend, there was no one coming, so we couldn't ask them. Um, As you can hear, the road is right here. So we're going along. Look at that, poor chef. 12 to 9. <laughs> Doesn't look that happy, does it? Um, yeah, we're through all the narrow parts. Yeah, it's beautiful. We've we'll just yeah, seen out the river, river D again. Not long. Lovely. Probably only a mile. Maybe that, maybe. I don't know. And what a lovely day for yeah. it as well. It's a bit cold. I've got my hat on. Gloves on. <laughs> and my gloves. Yeah, but yeah, it's beautiful. I think Andy's a bit knackered though, because he's been up all night. Yeah. He hasn't been to bed yet. I thought if we do it today and then he's got three whole days on then. Yeah. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Look at that view. Look at that view. It beautiful. Yeah, we're going to miss the Langoffin, aren't we? Yeah, it's been a well, lovely canal. This part, this part is special. This part is the best. It's beautiful, especially the basin. I could, I could stay down there longer than the basin. Well, it's lovely. Apart from it's more like a marina now than the basin. Yeah, a lot of winter people down there going up. I think everyone's got the idea now. They all, a lot of locals and that know that the basin's empty, so empty they go down. Stay in there as long as you want, really. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, you know, we were all right until yesterday. Then a boat came right next to us. So you're open and you're looking out. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's just like being in a house, really, when it's like that. The it's the same people every day. And the thing is, we're not used to that. Even in the cottage where we live, we never were overlooked at all, so it's quite hard for us. But yeah, we'll stay in a bit longer though, wouldn't we? Yeah, Will's not joined us, as you see. He wants to stay there a bit longer, explore the area a bit more. Yeah. He's got a very good internet, and Will likes good internet. Water. Yeah, it's fun. Good it's internet. nice. It's lands not... parked by his boat. Don't have to worry about water though, won't it? No, that's good. Yeah, because you've got water on... Well, so to speak, I'll oh, tell you. long travel last night, then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And you filled it up, didn't you, today, you guys? <laughs> yeah. Well, me and Joshua, I was washing up Joshua somewhere, and we all said, I'll turn the hose off for you. Well, I, went, <laughs> I went to fill it up, and I looked in there, and it was full. Yeah, it's full. Yeah. We've done it. One day it was frozen, solid, turned the tap on, and yeah. it was pushing the ice out, it went boom, 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 like a pea shooter. Out. I took all, all the containers that were in the containers, they've been there a few days. I put all that in yesterday. So I forget to pull that in. Yeah, but we're heading back 40 yeah. miles, I think it is, back to. Uh, what lock is it? Bradley? Bradley Lock? I think it might be. One that's shut until the 17th of December. Can you get through that? And then we've got until the 4th of January to get off before the next set of closures are coming along, and then they're going to be close to February, March, whatever. So yeah, we're going to get off the Langoffin probably just before Christmas, I reckon. Yeah, probably. So, yeah. And then Andy's got time off at Christmas. Not a lot, but we've got time to go down and see Mum and Dad at Christmas with them. And uh, after a lot, a lot, a lot of years, Luke is actually spending Christmas Day with the other son. He usually spends it with yeah. Libby and her mum. That's um, nice. So they're, they're coming. Yeah. Well, Libby's coming, little George, Libby's mum and Luke, they all come to mum and dad's. Yeah. So, yeah. And he's going to cook the dinner. We'll see you in a bit. Not got much space left, so... <laughs>
This is very much the calm before the storm. Such a beautiful, calm evening. And compared to what it will be the next day, or even just in a couple of hours, <laughs> little did we know what was going to happen. So this tree here with the dark green uh, ivy leaves um, fell over that night and it blocked passage. Well, I don't know if it's luck or if it's bad luck. We got through a few hours before the tree came down and a couple more trees went down further, further along. So we were trapped in between this bridge and Frontosidae. Rosy cheeks. Yeah, it is freezing. freezing. It must it, be four. Because it's just seen it come out of your mouth. <sighs> Sun's gone now, so it's even colder. Yeah, God, it's freezing now, guys. Glad yeah. we're moored up now. Oh, yeah. In our lovely spot again, the it's one like we were before. But on this the way is. Back down. The trouble Normally is, wind. this is where Toby got attacked. attacked. He wouldn't go out in the marina, look at him now. No, he's out again now. He loves towpaths. He don't like marinas, he likes towpaths. He don't them. like it with all those boats around. No. He's off, look at him. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> didn't see a boat today. No. God, it's cold. We didn't see didn't one boat. On. Just ducks. Yeah. yeah, no boats. Just ducks. Um, not even the aqueduct cruiser, cruises or whatever Ooh, what it is. What's he going to do? Is he going to have a wee or something? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just lame. But yeah. Oh, yeah the whole family's bare bone now. Yeah. yeah. Leaves on me first coming. Yeah, just over a week ago we were here and then there was leaves on the trees. But Oak trees are still hanging on. Mmm, <laughs> hardwooders. I think I put that, that way the solar panels, isn't it? I think. Um, yes, I'll yeah. take this in. I've got to put my bird thing feeders out. Yeah, oh. so. Ooh. Yeah, thank you for joining us today, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, darlings. And watch uh, keep watching. We're going to be back in a couple of days, I think. Yeah. Couple See of days. If Luke comes or not. I'm hoping Luke's gonna. Luke's got a um, son has got a wedding in Shrewsbury, which is about I don't know 40 minutes from here or something. So I'm hoping he's gonna come on Sunday. But he's the uh, I don't know, groomsman and. His wife's the bridesmaid, so I don't know whether they'll be coming or not, but it'd be nice to see them. Yeah. And we were going to take them over the act up, so yeah, we'll boys, film that if they come. Saturday. You know, so yeah. Toby's run back in again because two people are walking by. I think he's much more cautious now, isn't he? I think, thing. yeah, which is a good thing because he, trouble is, he don't. Very busy, Toby. He just stands up, stands up to dogs, doesn't he? Yeah, glad to get out of this. Busy towpath area. 
Yeah. Most of the Langoffers are really quiet on a towpath. Look, yeah, this is nice. This is, we're in the middle of nowhere on our own. Yeah. Apart from people coming by on the tow. Yeah. But they've got hardly any boats now, so it's brilliant. So, yeah, yeah keep watching, guys. Please keep like, commenting. Subscribe. In the you want to oh, yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, um, and it don't cost anything. No. Uh, so we keep telling everybody, it don't cost anything to subscribe. Click the subscribe button to be notified when we next yeah. upload. And the bell. But uh, also like. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And we'll see you soon. We're getting oh, in the, get the fire on. On See you later, guys. Oh. <laughs> Quick, Diane. Tune in next time guys because you're not going to want to miss what happens next. It's probably our most exciting video yet as we explore the aftermath of Storm Arwen.